everybody smile. Should she hold her plaque, maybe? Oh, go get your plaque. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, her name plate? Oh, did she get to take? She gets to take her name plate. Oh, that's right, I forgot. But we used to. Now we have to recycle. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Budget cut. You can't. Sorry. Yeah, name plate. That's great. We looked all over town for another candidate named Davis. Can you put the name plate down a little bit more? So we can get Joyce Davis in. Oh, yeah. She wants you to cut it that way. So yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cut and paste the cut and paste the letters on. Oh, perfect. I better take one more. Everyone's not smiling. Okay. Good. All right. Say budget, please. Thank you. Do you want to get one with David and uh, Carl? Oh yeah, we didn't get David and Carl over here. Come on, Paul. You want to take them? Yeah. Yeah, but if you just have it, she could. I could. Whichever ones I don't use, I could just give you anyway to have uh, memories. All right. Are you guys going? So, I can try running away from this computer books in French. Same message. Well, maybe we'll think about it. Maybe we can find one in Spanish for it. There we go. Bye, school committee. Bye. See you later, guys. No. Well, the camera's on. I need that. You do. 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 <laughs> okay, well that was fun. And uh, next week we'll play. Mu next meeting we'll play musical chairs. Although we won't be here, I think we'll be at the Batch Shelter for our reorg meeting um, next week. Okay, and let's get back into our regular agenda. Uh, I'll ask for public input. But seeing nobody in the public oh, tonight, uh, <laughs> I know we don't have any. Next we have our student report from Liz Harris. Okay. Um, so the third quarter officially ended and um, report cards were mailed April 17th and the fourth, fourth term started. Um, the maskers, chorus, and band are all going to New York City this weekend and they're seeing um, some shows. They're seeing Guys and Dolls and Phantom of the Opera, which would be fun for them. Um, there was a talent show on April 16th um, in the band called High Life and Suburbia won first place in um, AP testing begins Monday and will continue, um, I think, the next two weeks. So all those classes. Junior and senior prom tickets are now on sale. Um, student council is having a Fuddruckers night tomorrow at the Fuddruckers um, in Reading. The student council is accepting nomination forms for next year's officers, um, as well as most of the other clubs. I know the Interact Club and the Maskers Club are all electing new officers. Um, there will be no school Wednesday, May 6th, um, next Wednesday for Teacher Professional Development Day. Um, the AP History um, class took a field trip to the JFK Library last week, and the French students went to the Fine Arts Museum. The girls and boys tennis had the Cal Tournament last Saturday, and that's pretty much all that's going on right now. <laughs> and for my student work, um, something that I've been working on for two weeks in my civics and government class, um, we held a mock Congress, and we actually um, spent a lot of time researching the steps that, um, steps necessary for a bill to pass in the in Congress. Um, and we used a pro uh, program called Youth Leadership Initiative, and this is all online, and it's um, produced by the University of Virginia, and it's, it's like this interactive web quest, and it prints out worksheets and all these, um, fun things that we could do online. I was going to show you, but I actually couldn't get the link because, uh, I don't know, my teacher didn't have it, but uh, I have some bills that we wrote that I can show you. It's, um, so we researched um, everything about Congress and how you have to pass the bill and the top issues today, and we formed groups and we wrote, we actually wrote our own bills, everyone in the class, and uh, we had to look at how Congress actually writes bills, and then back, when we went back to class, um, each group got a copy of another group's bill, and we had to put, make suggestions, amend it, say what we thought of it. Then we broke up into like a mock um, House of Representatives, and we would vote if we would pass the bills. So it was really fun, um, just to see the steps of how hard it would be to pass a bill, because most of them die in committee. 
And there's a lot of, this one, this one that I have is recycling, healthcare, and stem cell research. So if anyone wants to take a look at this, it's pretty cool. Did you vote on all the bills? Um, most of them. I, I did the stem cell research one, which everyone wanted to pass. There was one, um, it was um, implanting the, like chips into illegal aliens or something. Right. Yeah. That one that <laughs> did not pass. What do you think of that? <laughs> I'd love to do that. Yeah. <laughs> that one there's all sorts of stuff. We should take a vote on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. That sounds lot. interesting. That was your civics and government. Civics government. Mm -hmm. I believe also with the uh, tennis tournament. I think didn't Jackie Harrow win yep. the girls' Jackie singles Harrow won. for oh, the Cape wow. Family? Yeah. Yeah. Impressive. Did they have it here in Alberta? It was actually in Hamilton, Wenham. Oh, okay. uh, the boys had it here. Oh, they did. Oh, good. Because that was one of the nice things with the tennis court. Right. Yeah. They have it here. Yeah. Great. Any other questions or comments for Liz? Great. Thanks, Liz. Thank you. Okay, next. Oh, sure. Next on a continued business, we have uh, school building projects, and we have a couple of things going on. We, the secondary school building committee has been reactivated, and actually that's another committee that Nicole was on that we'll have to put a new member on next meeting. But uh, they visited the Angie High School, and we also have the, the turf field um, activity. So, David, I don't want to... Just very briefly, um, there's, there's apparently going to be a walk through the field uh, tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock. And uh, the company, um, oh my goodness, uh, Gale. Gale, Gale, so Gale, 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 the, uh, it'll be quite a few people just taking a look at the initial layout of the uh, property and begin to talk about the scope of the project and the timeline for it. It's still um, on track uh, based on what we learned earlier that um, work will continue um, right through and, and hopefully be com completed uh, before uh, the Thanksgiving game in, uh, in November. So and that's the, the target of this time. The bid is the bid's been approved for the engineering contract, is that correct? I no, thought I read I, that in the newspaper, but you, you were away last week, I, so. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not aware because okay. it wasn't there. I think, I, I don't know if it was a tentative bid or, but it said that the town administrator had approved, but I thought it's a tentative bid uh, award to Gale and Associates for the engineering of the uh, of the project, so that's good. And, and I know, um, well, I think it'll be important that, um, and the uh, Rita Mullen and, and the uh, committee members, uh, uh, engineer Michael Neal has also been in contact with the school department and particularly Wayne Hardiker. Um, my feeling is that while uh, I don't think we, other than uh, Dave Johnson, who is a member, athletic director is a member of the turf uh, track and field committee, that um, we, we probably want to make sure that Wayne Hardiker is officially named as the contact person for the school department. Uh, while Dave Johnson is looking at it from a program standpoint, and will certainly be, uh, it'll be critical for him to, today for, to be involved with scheduling of, of athletic uh, events. But in terms of the overall project, um, I would like to see, suggest that Wayne Hardiker be named as the school department's liaison and make that official and then communicate that to the TURP committee. Uh, so, and, I, and I believe I've communicated that concept to Rita Mullen and uh, she she certainly uh, agrees with that. I think that's a good idea. And uh, not to throw another member into the mix, but what about Mr. Nelson's, what about Carl? Is, could he be the secondary liaison or, I mean, I just on a, on the business on the business aspect of it, you know, I don't want Carl down there inspecting the, the pipes and everything because I think Wayne does a great job on all that engineering aspect. But I, I'd like to see Carl involved somehow too. But I don't know if we need to approve two liaisons or how we would do that. And I don't know what Carl's feeling is on that. Well, uh, Dr. Trotman described Wayne's role vis-a-vis -vis, um, the engineering piece. Um, Wayne reports to me, we meet and talk every day. Uh, okay. And we work well together, of course, and um, the concerns that he would have, I would have, as the committee would have. So I can assure the committee that I'll work closely with Wayne in terms of, you know, the first thing we go into this uh, is we need to let the engineering people know about the extensive irrigation 
for the bench shelter school that's underneath the present football field, right. and extensive irrigation for the baseball field that I suspect people aren't really aware of. So there's lots of issues that I'm aware of. So I'll, I'll work closely with Wayne, okay. um, and would be happy to be his stand in or back up on, on days he couldn't attend if that would be satisfactory. Yeah, I think as long as you're, and since Wayne does report to you, you'd be directly involved, that I'm comfortable with that. I don't know if anybody else, <laughs> because you'll be directly involved, and I think it's about everything that's going on there as long as Wayne is. I'm comfortable. I always see council roles a little different than Wayne's, though, too, because, I mean, Wayne's the technical person, and I have full confidence in Wayne, but um, you know, I'd also almost like to see Kyle stay in communication if that's going to be an acceptable role with town administrator on this thing and the people at town hall because of Kyle's expertise in getting these types of projects done. Right. I mean, I think he's just done a tremendous job with every project he's handled, including the uh, Long Hill classrooms, the tennis courts, whatever it's been. So, I, and again, I'm not trying to usurp anybody's authority over town hall, but I'd like to see at least a communication open between Kyle and town hall yeah. on this project other than the technical thing. So, that's just my design. That makes sense. I don't know if we have to officially appoint him we, I think we definitely should appoint Wayne as the liaison to the project from the school committee. Um, I don't know if we need to officially appoint. If we, I mean, if we do, I, I'm comfortable with Carl working with Wayne, and it just if he's in communication yeah. with Greg, I think we'll be, we'll be fine. But, but I think that, that Carl's going to have the function that he normally has with school-related business mm. with the rest of the town, right down to the administrators. Right. So I don't. I think that, that that's. Kind of a redundancy. Um, I think that uh, Wayne would do a great job on this. And, uh, the fact that he reports to, to Carl makes a connection there. Okay. And, and I think this kind of, I, I don't know how on the town side how a building committee is set up, um, but I do know that on both the elementary and the secondary committee that the other boards, the Board of Selectmen and um, and the Finance Committee appointed a liaison. It was official. So we received that communication. For example, the Secondary Building Committee, Don Kelleher represented the Finance Committee. Right. Uh, and at one point, um, Sean Delaney uh, was um, the representative. And then I believe that ultimately he was named as a member, appointed as a member of that committee. Yeah. I move that we vote to request the inclusion of Wayne Hardiger as a second. Okay. <coughs> Motion by Mr. Bauer, second by Mr. Venezia. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. And then, David, anything on the secondary school committee other than they visited Amesbury, uh, Amesbury High School? You know, the, the only other thing is uh, that uh, we're on the middle school statement of interest that's been a three month odyssey to get all that work that was done prior to the collapse of Legion Server back on the 19th of December. Uh, about 80% of the work was recovered. Um, you've actually I just left your sign tonight, right. so we'll be submitting that. Uh, and um, so that will finalize officially the uh, resubmission of the middle school statement of interest. Okay. Have, have we heard anything further? Have we, and have we gotten, I don't know if that was what the clip was printed, have we gotten all the money for the badge? Has that all been oh, paid? Oh, actual school? Yes. Yeah, I believe that, yes. I okay. believe actually how the final money was, was received. Okay. All right, great. Thanks. Okay, next on our agenda, we have uh, first reading of an anti-bullying policy. And Nicole, I figured uh, since you're such a great speller and <laughs> even a better reader, um, what better way to go out than to read a uh, two-page policy on anti-bullying? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> also, I helped write it. Okay. Okay. Um, the North Reading School District is committed to a civil, respectful, and safe educational environment for all its students and staff. We recognize that all students have a right to feel safe in their own school and to learn unimpeded by intentionally inflicted emotional or physical distress. Bullying is a major distraction from learning. Victims can have difficulty maintaining their grades, and their fear can lead to chronic absenteeism or even dropping out of school. Bystanders can 